Coverage you can count on continues. This is News Channel 15's News at 6. Single vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death of police officers. The one Noble County Sheriff's deputy got lucky after he totaled his car. News Channel 15's Kelly Roberts saw that car today and found out exactly what happened. Kelly? Deputy Kyle Hartman was treated for minor injuries after the wreck and is now back on patrol. The sheriff's office is using it as a learning experience for all its deputies. This car could have collapsed onto the officer. The damage is bad. A Noble County deputy's car is totaled after he flipped it. But the person inside the car, Deputy Kyle Hartman, walked away with only minor injuries. Chief Deputy Chad Willett says Hartman was following another deputy to a medical run when a deer crossed in front of that leading squad car. That officer immediately started to brake to avoid hitting the deer. As he did, he noticed that the vehicle, uh, this vehicle, was approaching him uh, quickly from, the, from the, uh, behind. The deputy in front went to the left and Hartman went to the right, hit a cement embankment and flipped his car. It's a total loss. An investigation showed Hartman was following too closely behind the other deputy. Indications through the investigation would indicate that he was at fault. It's a single vehicle crash. He's obviously the only one that was operating the vehicle, so he's obviously at fault. He will not receive a citation. A study published in Sheriff and Deputy Magazine says 62% of fatal crashes involving officers are single vehicle, making them the leading cause of death of police officers. One factor making them so deadly. A leading cause in that also is seatbelt usage. I mean, officers get in a hurry because they're, you know, they're trying to get to where they need to go. They may not have put on their seatbelt. That's a critical point for us. To replace just the car, it will cost about $23,000. However, to outfit it with police equipment, it will tack on another ten dollars to $20,000. In Studio 15, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.